Hey there. In this session, we will use the Attention Froze model for performing the image classification. We are not going to create a model for TensorFlow in this series. If you are not aware of them, then you can refer the other course that designed for the TensorFlow because it's a very vast topic. Frankly speaking, even I am not good in the TensorFlow. So, I have downloaded the model's PB file and it's available from the Microsoft site. You can download it from the my GitHub's repo if you don't want to create it by yourself. For this example, I have added a few images on which we will perform the image classification. I have added images for the french fries, hot dog and Italian pizza. Within the ATA is the dataset file added the list of the images name that on which we will perform the production. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Here I have created a file name constant. It contains the various constants as per the TensorFlow's model, such as input column name, output column name, image height, and weight. If you have created a model, then you will be aware of those fields. Then created the input model and create the input model. It just have an image name only. We will fetch it from the CSV file that we have seen. Here is a result model. This TensorFlow model will just return the single column in the back. Note that I have used the constant value in the column name attribute. Here is a demo class. I am going to use the concept of dividing code into the several methods just like the previous session. So I have declared the context, path, model and pipeline globally. Here we are going to execute the model. So we do not need to load the data and create a model. So first step will be pre-processing image that we want to predict. So create the pre-processing data method. Define the path for the images folder. Now it's a time for create pre-processing pipeline. Now let me load the images first. For this use the load images method. Output column name will be image and specify the path for images folder and input column name will be the image name let me perform resize on those images by using the resize images method output column name will be the resize image and uh, specify the image width and height input column name will be image our model expect the uh, pixels so use the uh, extract pixels method output column name will be tf input column name we want to keep our color so pass the true in the uh, interleo pixel colors Specify value for the offset image. On resize image column. Here we have loaded the images and pre-processing for the model. Now it's a time for load model. Create a new method, load model. To load TensorFlow's model, we need to use the load TensorFlow model of the model catalog and pass the uh, path for pb file using the uh, score tensorflow model specify the input and output column name for the model and pass the true for the batch dimension input let's create a estimator by appending the tf pipeline in a pre-processing pipeline as we know, we need a data view for creating model. However, we do not have any data for creating model. So we can create the empty data view. For this, use the load from enumerable method and pass the empty list of the input model. Create a model using the fit method. We have a model. Let's move toward to create a prediction based on that model. I have already created a method for that. So let me paste it here. 
In this chart, I have loaded all the labels from the label file. Then loaded the test dataset and converted it into the list. Here we have created a prediction engine. Then look through each test data file, predict a value for image. As a result, we will get the list of floating value that represent the probability for each label. So obtain the maximum value from that. Based on its value, determine the its index and obtain the label name for that index. At the end, print out the image name, prediction, and probability. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the program. Here we got the result for the three images that we have added. For Italian pizza, it determined the pizza. Hot dog identify as the hot dog. And French fries identify as a cheeseburger, which is the wrong one and has the lowest probability. Because french fries did not exist in the label file and the model is not trained for that, so it's unable to predict that. Let's see what we have learned in this session. We have created a pipeline for pre-processing image in which we are loading the images, resize it and extract the pixel from it. For loading the TensorFlow model, we need to use the load TensorFlow model method Using score TensorFlow model, specify the input and output column detail, then create the blank data view and create the transform word from that pipeline. For predicting label, I have loaded the data from the CSV and converted it back to the enumerable. Then created the prediction engine, predict a value for the input. We will get a probability for each label. Based on its index, obtain the label and print out. Goodbye.